The National School Boards Association, uh, which represents the nation's 15,000 local school boards, is really pleased with the bipartisan leadership being shown by uh, Chairman Miller as, as well as with uh, uh, Representative McNorris Rogers to ensure that uh, the issue of, of restraints and seclusion are being addressed through this legislation. Uh, much of what needs to be said about this important and well-directed legislation has been addressed, so I'll be brief in uh, adding our views. We believe that it is important to uh, address the inappropriate use of restraints and seclusion of not only students with disabilities, but of all students. Elected to represent the interests of all students, the goal of school boards in this area is to promote the health, safety, and dignity of the nation's school children and teachers and provide an environment that's conducive to learning. We do believe this legislation will meet our safety and other goals for students and school personnel while providing sufficient authority and flexibility to schools and school districts in training school personnel based on their unique needs. This, the legislation is strategic and balanced in dealing with such factors as training, prohibiting the use of certain practices, and promoting positive learning supports. We expect that Congress will not only establish federal policy, but will also authorize and appropriate the necessary funding levels to assist states and local school districts in implementing these new requirements. We appreciate the opportunity to be here today to lend the support of the National School Boards Association to what we hope will be the rapid enactment of this very important legislation. Thank you.